Hi everyone, welcome to WSLI, short for World School of Life Sciences IP. My name is Tanu Goyal, I am the director and founder at WSLI. In this video, we are going to talk about Patent Agent Exam 2025. The Indian Patent Office announced on 3rd July that the next official exam for the registration of patent agents is going to be held on 5th of January 2025. Now, if you too are planning to clear the exam time, let's see what the structure of the exam is and how is it different from 2024. But before we move on to that, do you even know who patent agents are? What do they do? Where do they get hired? And what is their pay like? Don't you think we should address that first? So let's begin. Patent agents are those certified patent professionals who have registered themselves in the register of patent agents after clearing the patent agent exam to practice before the Indian Patent Office. They are hired by inventors or companies, organizations to legally represent them in patent proceedings and also assist them in drafting, filing and other modalities in the patent office. If you are wondering whether you are eligible to appear for the exam, then Section 126 of Indian Patents Act 1970 clears the confusion by mentioning the exact eligibility criteria, which is you should be a citizen of India, you should have completed 21 years of age, and you should have obtained a degree in science, engineering, or technology from a university established under the law in the territory of India. To exemplify, the following degree holders are eligible to apply for the exam. A common doubt among students is whether a lawyer is eligible to appear for the exam. Stay till the end of the video and I will tell you how even a lawyer or an advocate is eligible to appear for the exam. After clearing the Indian Patent Agent exam and being assigned a number by the Indian Patent Office, these patent agents become authorized to represent inventors or applicants before the controller of patents in the drafting, filing and prosecution of patent applications. A thing to be noted here is that patent agents are not authorized or qualified to represent the parties in a patent litigation unless they additionally possess a law degree. Law firms hire patent agents as well as LPOs, KPOs and IP sales of pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies, chemical as well as IT companies, they all hire patent agents. Research institutes and government institutes like CSIR, ICT, CCMB, as well as agriculture companies and defense services, they all are in need of patent agents. Based on the skill set and experience, the pay for a patent agent can be anywhere between 4 to 15 lakhs per annum. The main factors that drive the salary packages include relevant post-qualification experience in IPR, decent knowledge of Indian and US patent laws, as well as your subject matter expertise. Now that we have understood what we are getting into, let's address some basic questions about the exam. As mentioned on the official website of IP India, the date of the examination is January 5, 2025, and the exam is going to be conducted across 13 locations in India. The syllabus of the exam includes the Patents Act 1970 along with the Patents Rules 2003. The new additions to the syllabus include the Designs Act 2000, the Designs Rules 2001 and matters related to IP jurisprudence. The exam format is such that you have to appear for two papers, Paper 1 which is Objective Type for 2 hours and Paper 2 which is Descriptive Type for 3 hours. Apart from this, there is no capping on the number of attempts for this exam or for the number of seats. You can register for the exam by going to iprnline.ipindia.gov.in and there you have to fill in all the details which are marked mandatory before you submit for the exam. 